Update. Because if I'm baiting dogs one after the other, I've got six dogs, it, it does hurt. But we go from that to a covered sleeve, and this is where my scars are from. Because the dogs do go through it, but we try to give them that bite so they can feel the difference. It's nice and soft, and if they get a bit of blood, all the better. So we use the bite bar. That's why she's a bit reluctant to bite the bite bar, because it's all hard and horrible in the mouth. Whereas if I've got my covered sleeve on, she hits and she holds because it gives. It's got that nice texture to it like an arm, all right? And that's just what I want to show you. You can patter and all the rest of it. Not a problem. We go down the high street, people patter. But the minute he becomes a drunken idiot, I can then just say to him, and the command we give is, watch him. And she'll go, bang, in front of me. Teeth, nods of voice, and there's no way he's getting to me before he gets to her. And people can become, become compliant very quickly. Jess, come. Don't you show me up, come on. <laughs> Jesse, come. Good girl, <laughs> Good girl. She got My arm back, please. <laughs> 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 uh, no, we use sticks on them as well. Padded sticks to simulate someone being bit but then putting up a fight. People who are on drugs we've had before that will fight a dog. People who have got high pain threshold that fight dogs. So we have to hit them with sticks so that they stay on. If she was to leave, and then bite me on the legs, that will be an unlawful assault. Okay? So we need to stay there while we're being hit. While she's being slapped on. Leave it. Sit. Sit. And what's more important is that once they've bit, they leave when they're told to. <laughs> okay. Let me let go. <laughs> this is the thing about not working with people's dogs. His, her handler is a dog called Alan Kilpatrick. Now, with him, she could do different again. So here, she would feel protected by him. Because it's me, she'll play with me, she'll come to me, she'll do what I ask her. But when the chips are down, is she going to protect me? God, I don't know. The bond is with Alan, not me. Sit. Ha. Down. Sit. Roll over, play there. Actually. <laughs> the reason she's still doing that is because I got her 18 months ago as a dog that's done nothing, and I trained her to do everything, and brought them here and married the two together. So she, obviously she knows me, and she knows she's my favourite as well. Any questions? Nothing at all. Cool. If the dog is not injured, yeah. it goes to the vet centre here in this No, it goes to the vet. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we've got, uh, there's only one vet on the island, the richest man on the island. Uh, goes to Mark, the vet there. Um, the military, the way they work it, uh, they, will, they will send the A section, Afghanistan. They'll send A section, so you'll have handlers, you'll have veterinary technicians and vets, and they're responsible for all the dogs that we feed. Yeah. In the UK, my dogs, we get them through the Defence Animal Centre because we're MOD, but once they become my Chief Constable's property, we're then responsible for them, we go to a lot of the vets. The Army, the Air Force, 
they go to their army veterinary corps vets. So that, that's the way that works. But um, in, the, in theatre, in, in Afghanistan particularly, they're using a lot of Malinois for uh, HASD, which is checking the routes for convoys for uh, IEDs on long lines. We've got over